Amanda, great to see you. Uh, first of all, how are things over in Australia with, with the lockdown? Yeah, I know we've got a lot easier over here than what you have over there. Um, we aren't, aren't being affected as, as much. Um, still have to keep distance from people and can't go out and do things, but um, I'm still at work and so is my daughter, so we're some of the lucky ones. Mm. If I can take you back a few years, this this uh, Friday is the 21st anniversary of that, that famous cup win at, at Wembley. <laughs> Uh, and and your wonderful Makes time, <laughs> and your wonderful time over here in in England. If I take you back to when when you first arrived as a family back in the back end of ninety seven going into ninety eight, uh, what are your oh. memories of that time? Um, everything happened so quickly with all all the Super League. Um, one week we're in Australia, the next week we're in England, and um, I remember being picked up at the airport and our daughter Cara was only four, just four years old. And she looked everywhere and she goes, Mum, this is weird, this country. They've got no leaves on their trees <laughs> because we arrived in winter time, and even in winter over here we don't really lose our leaves. So um, just driving back, it was it was uh, going to – we knew it was going to be a, a roller coaster of a ride anyway. Yeah, and then obviously, not yet that first season. Graham got the got the team at a great show. Was it was it a fun time for you guys? Obviously, a young family over here in England. Oh, I don't know what it's like there now, but it was such a great family club. There was lots of people with young children, the same as Graham and I, and 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 a few good Aussies there too. Um, that. The English girls just came straight in with us, and we we formed this this great sort of little ladies club, and went off to all the games. And I think that supported the fellas too. They all felt like it was um, okay to do all the things that they could do, and so they all became great mates as well. So um, yeah, I think probably one of the highlights in in Graham's career was being at Leeds. Yeah. And then looking at looking into ninety nine and that and that cup run and getting to getting to Wembley. I remember Graham telling a story about how he'd always wanted to to take a team to Wembley. For him personally, how how, how big an occasion was it? Ah, uh, um, he he was trying to keep himself contained too because he, he sort of said you can't get too excited because you lose that momentum and you, you, your thoughts go elsewhere. So there was this real um, towing the line of, of, of how excited you could be but still trying to rein it in and keeping your mind on the job. And But uh, Wembley, he, he went there um, before we were married. Like when he was a young guy, he, he went over there and, and walked around the ground and sort of said, I, you know what, I dreamed of being here one day and, and that dream came true and, and the whole lead up to it was all a bit surreal, really. It just amazing, the fans, and, and there's nothing like it. There's nothing like being at Wembley and seeing all that as crowds coming down Wembley Way and the singing and and to win. I'm, I don't think we came down off the clouds for a, a week or two. <laughs> And what was the week like building up to it? Obviously, there's so much arrangements that go on for, for the team, <sighs> for the families, and, and getting everything organised and making sure people have got tickets and all that sort of thing. What was it like in your household? Well, I think it was the same in, in a lot of the girls. Like, you, you try to stay calm and and get things done without worrying the boys too much because um, they've got their mind and on the job and they've got to get their training sessions. But every now and then you're sort of like, oh, can this be – I remember saying to Graham, do you think it would be all right if we could get, you know, a, a car uh, for the girls and this? And he goes, don't bother me about those things. <laughs> like, so it, it, you know, everyone wants to to get the best out of it and, and enjoy it to the max. But um, – you, you really have to tread on eggshells a little bit that week leading up to the game for sure. And special memories, you mentioned getting the win obviously in the end, but special memories as a family to car out there on the pitch with Graham and, and, and walking the Challenge Cup around the pitch. Oh, look, we've, um, we've got that picture up in our hallway still, you know, of, of the team with all the kids on the field um, at Wembley that day and and... I mean, the 
afterwards, the celebrations afterwards, and and Graham and I slept with the cup that night at the foot of our bed, and we woke up. I think we only got about two hours sleep, but waking up and and looking at something that's hundred and three years old or something, I think at that time, and thinking, wow, you know, we were a part of this. It was um amazing. Yeah, nothing like it. And then the homecoming back at Headingley, the thousands of people cheering the team back. It was special. That was another special event. Yeah, yeah. Um, I sort of didn't really get to see a lot of that. It, um, the boys sort of went off. They get taken off and put on double decker buses and things like that. And but I mean, they were so close. They were a really close team. Um, a, they enjoyed each other's company and to win a cup of that magnitude together um, just bonds them all closely. I mean, I still think of all of those fillers as, as close friends and their wives and, and I love seeing them and, and talking to them and getting back together. It's um, And that's what did it, you know, that Wembley win. And then anyone who's who's got a young family can appreciate how big a call it was to come to the the other side of the world and and take on a, a challenge going a bit into the unknown. But for for Graham to to win the cup and to lead the team to that must give you immense pride and, and satisfaction that you that you've taken that leap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I always knew that Graham had something special when it came to to coaching a team and and not and when i say a team it's not just the guys on the paddock you know it's the whole club he graham had this wonderful way of touching people and making people feel included and part of it um and even to this day um things keep happening where people still recognize him and and how he was able to do that um so there was never a second thought about going there when he sort of said you know we're going to take off over here I said yep fine let, let's do it you know we can always come back if it doesn't work out but um the way it, it worked we didn't want to come back really in the <laughs> end but it was sort of forced hand and um I mean you know I've been back Graham and I and Cara were back a few times and and Cara and I've been back again since and and we'll be back there again we just love the place. We love the people. Um, Rhino's fans forever, I suppose, yeah. And the fact that he's still so fondly remembered in Leeds must must give you a great, uh, great heart that, you know, his legacy his legacy lives on. Well, it, it, it keeps him alive for us too, you know. Like it, there isn't a day that I don't go. I mean, every morning I get up and kiss his photo and how are you going this morning, Dale? And But, um, you know, it. England and, and Leeds do f rugby league in a special way. Um, I think the, the the way a club sort of get behind people and and support people and and the fans at games, there's there's nothing like it. And once you're a part of it, you're always a part of it. Mm. And it was great to see there that the new stadium for the Cowboys has has got a special memory of uh, of Graham as well. Yeah, they um, named the the street um, leading into the stadium after him. So it's Graham Murray Place. So I think the Cowboys headquarters will be, their address will be number one Graham Murray Place. So um, they'll always know him up there too. So, yeah, that's what I say. He just keeps giving and giving. I'd, um, so it's nice. It's lovely.